Hello everyone, and welcome to the weird, scary, and horrible parts of humanity. Today, we are looking into a murder committed by a member of a royal family, Saud bin Abdulaziz bin Nasir al Sayyid, who murdered his manservant while overseas in London. Sayyid bin Abdulaziz bin Nasir al Sayyid was born in 1977 in Riyadh. He is the grandson of Abdullah bin Abdulaziz al Sayyid, who was the King of Saudi Arabia between the 1st of August 2005 and the 23rd of January 2015. Saudi Arabia is one of the least LGBTQIA friendly countries in the world. Homosexuality is illegal and LGBTQIA rights are not recognized in Saudi Arabia under Islamic Sharia law. Punishment can range from public whipping, beatings, torture, chemical castrations, life in prison and execution. Saud bin Abdulaziz bin Nasir al Saud was gay. In late 2009 and early 2010, he went on an extended international holiday to various European cities as well as Morocco and Mauritius. During his trip, he would pay men for sexual services. He travelled with his manservant, Badar Abdulaziz, an orphan from Somalia, whom he physically and sexually abused. The pair would shop extensively. Dine in the best restaurants. And drink champagne and cocktails in nightclubs. Abdulaziz and Saud stayed at the Landmark Hotel, a five-star hotel with 300 rooms and suites in Marlebone in central London. Hotel porter Dobomir Dimitrov described Saud and Abdulaziz as a gay couple. Additionally, male escorts Pablo Silva and Luis Sizikora admitted to engaging in sexual acts with Saud while he was in London. On the 22nd of January 2010, CCTV camera from a lift at the Landmark Hotel showed Abdulaziz being abused by Saud. However, there was no attempt to fight back and afterwards Abdulaziz walked meekly to their room. However, on the 15th of February 2010, the pair went out for a Valentine's Day night out. That evening, with Saud drunk on cocktails and champagne, Abdulaziz was found dead on the bed of room 312 at the Landmark Hotel, having been strangled to death with bite marks on his cheeks and naked photographs of him on Saud's mobile phone. Saud insisted to police and throughout his trial that he was a heterosexual and had a girlfriend in Saudi Arabia. However, with insurmountable evidence, at the age of 34 he confessed to manslaughter on the 11th of October 2010 and was sentenced to life in prison on the 19th of October 2010 for the murder of Abdulaziz. Under an agreement between Saudi Arabia and the United Kingdom, criminals in jail can apply to serve their sentence in their home country. Following a successful application on the 20th of March 2013, Saud was sent back to his native Saudi Arabia. He must serve a minimum of 20 years in prison before he is released. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favor and hit that like and subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. You'll also be seeing two other videos for you to check out. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.